Hey guys, welcome back to the Vera Projects. Uh, I got myself a cultivator today for Ryobi attachment, and let me show you what that looks like. All right, so this is the attachment that I got for the uh, the trimmer that I have. So I'm trying to do a big project. I'm trying to put a 40 by 10 slab of concrete, and I really don't feel like digging it all out. So in order for me to do that four inches of digging, I'm gonna use this cultivator to help me uh, perform that task. So let me open this box and see what it looks like. All right, so I opened it up. Looks like we got about four of these guys. We gotta put them in. And uh, obviously, you know, we gotta unwrap this here and some additional instructions with another mount of some sort. So let me go ahead and open all this up and I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, so what it looks like is that when you look at the instructions, okay, you have to flip this guy over. I'm gonna flip it like that. Flip it like that. And then you're gonna have A, you're gonna have A, B, C, and D, okay? And then once, every time you go ahead and place one of these, you're gonna go ahead, uh, when you place A and B, you're gonna put this at the end so it holds it together. Same thing with uh, C and D. So let me go ahead and slide these guys in and see what it looks like. Okay, so a few things I've learned is that you wanna make sure that these two pieces in here are facing each other, right? So this is D and this is C and you have B here, B and A. You want to make sure they're facing together and then in the end you're going to go ahead and put these clamps in here right um, same thing on this side so i'm going to go ahead and place these in and uh, see how hard it is to put them in okay i'll be right back all right so to put these in by hand uh not so easy to do so i had to grab a pair of pliers and kind of lift this up here to kind of make it fit right which it did it fit really well but I wouldn't suggest trying to do it by hand because uh, it's not going to be easy to do it by hand. So just FYI on that one. Okay, it's how it kind of looks on the other side as well. Okay. So yeah, overall, pretty easy to put together. I'm not going to lie, it's, it wasn't as hard at all to do it. So I'm going to put that there so it doesn't keep moving. Alright, so the last piece is uh, putting this handle on. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that now as well. All right guys, so I removed the attachment that I have, okay, and I added this attachment to it. I left both handles on there because if I wanted to get closer, I could. You could use the handle that's here already from the previous stool, but I'm okay with having both of them, okay? So 40 volt, okay? Basically when you turn it on, that's what it looks like. Now, let me show you really quick what it looks like with tearing up the ground. So we're here, we're gonna see how it rips up the ground, okay? Soft that came right, so I'm basically gonna do that about 40 feet in order for me to go ahead later on and pour cement on here to get that four inch gap that I need in order for the cement to be even. But it's a much easier tool to use, it stays pretty clean as you see. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, if you want to get yourself a cultivator, it's great for gardening. If you have a garden and you want to break up the ground in order for you to go ahead and mix up the, the sand and the dirt all together for you to plant your garden, it's great it's a great tool to have. So thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Go ahead and subscribe and I appreciate it.